early 1900s, people had some really interesting ideas about flying with sometimes tragic and equally hilarious results. You had your flap and flop, the prey and plummet, and the crash and cash. But then, thank goodness for the Wright brothers, because they showed us the right way to fly. Literally. Orville and Wilbur Wright were two brothers from Ohio with a really big dream. Now, these guys weren't just strap on a pair of wings and jump off a cliff kind of daredevils. They were originally bicycle mechanics. In the mid-1890s, they started tinkering in their bike shop with this idea of a flying machine and realized that if you want to fly, you gotta study birds. Duh. So they busted out the binoculars and started bird watching. They noticed that the wings were curved on top and flatter on the bottom to allow for lift and how they used their wings and tail feathers to control their flight. This led to a better understanding of aerodynamics and how to harness wind for powered flight. Fast forward to December 17, 1903, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina. Orville hopped under the pilot seat of this janky looking contraption called the Wright Flyer. Wilbur gives him a good luck pat on the back and off they go. The Wright Flyer lifts off the ground, stays in the air for a whopping 12 seconds, and travels a whole 120 feet. And just like that, the era of aviation was born. Thanks to Orville and Wilbur's crazy idea, we went from this to this. Follow along for more.